To create a pattern from an object that you've modeled in Rhino, you can use one of the array commands. These are available from the Transform drop-down menu, Array Flyout. The first type of array possible is called rectangular. Select the object to pattern, and then specify through the command line the number of copies in the x, y, and z directions. Then define the cell spacing between the copies. You'll see a preview with the original object highlighted. At this point, you can change the number of copies as well as their spacing by clicking on the options in the command line. You can also pattern objects around a circle, and this type of array is called polar array. Select the object to pattern, define a center point, enter the number of copies, and then enter an angle. 360 will be a full circle. Rhino also lets you pattern objects along a curve. Select the object to array, define a base point, and then pick the path curve to array along. The array along curve options dialog will appear, and you can change the number of copies, as well as the orientation that those copies will take as they follow the path curve. You can also array objects along a surface. Select the object to array, enter a base point, define a normal direction, and then pick the target surface. You'll be prompted in the command line to specify the number of copies in the u-direction and the v-direction of the surface. This is very similar to the rigid option with flow along surface. The last type of array possible is a combination of two of these. First, I'll take a curve and project it to a surface. Now I can array an object along the curve that is on the surface. Select the object to array, select a base point, select the curve on the surface, and then select the surface. Now I can interactively place the copies, or through the command line, I can enter a precise number of copies or a distance between them. And those are the various types of array functions that you can use in Rhino.